very special place. A place that thousands of Singaporeans gather for due to the National Day Parade, the Sea Games, soccer matches, and the Tiger Cup and the ASEAN Football Championship. Join us where you will learn more about the events leading to its construction, its wonderful features, the glorious moments, and of course, what the future holds of this historic place. The National Stadium was officially opened by the then Prime Minister of Singapore, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, on 21st July 1973. The real purpose of the National Stadium is not to provide a gladiators arena for world-famous sporting personalities and teams, though these will always be welcomed, but to bring the practice of physical recreation within the grasp of every Singaporean. Piling works on the stadium grounds started as early as 1966. Apart from heavy rains in December 1969, work on the stadium proceeded smoothly. Occasionally, there was a shortage of cement, steel and labour, but there were no serious delays. By the end of June 1973, the practice track and the football pitch had already been laid out and the national stadium was ready. Stadium can hold a maximum capacity crowd of 60,000 spectators. It has a 26 meter six lane carton track and two scoreboards. Four floodlight towers 70 meters high carrying 300 lamps can make the National Stadium at night bright as daylight. It has a special instant restart feature which can change from complete darkness to a bright arena quickly. Did you know one of the world's leading sound consultants designed the system of the National Stadium? Every competitor and spectator is guaranteed to hear what's going on no matter what the stadium is used for. Other facilities of the stadium include 26 locker rooms where athletes can change and shower, and 36 toilets and 32 shops selling refreshments, souvenirs and other sporting goods. several major events. In 2007, the National Stadium will make way for the 35 hectare sport park. 
The new sports hub will include a new 55,000 seater national stadium with a retractable roof, an indoor aquatic and a multi-purpose arena. With such an impressive project, who knows that Singapore might even play host to the Commonwealth Games, Olympics or even the World Cup. Let's wait and see. Until then, goodbye.